a very good morning and welcome to ITN News coming to you live and direct from the ITN studios with me, Abra Rabid. Now, before we go into our stories in detail, let's take a look at our headlines. Patriotic Sri Lankans handed over a letter to the UNHRC in protest of the Commissioner's oral updates. The President says relevant ministries should take responsibility for making room for protests. A weather and accident warning system has been implemented in Thangalla Fishing Harbour. The UNP Working Committee decided to make all nominations at the upcoming general election with the approval of the UNP leader. WHO issued highest alert over coronavirus. In our lead story, patriotic Sri Lankans living in Europe handed over a letter to the head office of the UNHRC yesterday in protest of the UN Human Rights High Commissioner's oral updates against Sri Lanka. Minister of Foreign Affairs Dinesh Gunwardana reiterated that Sri Lankan government and forces were not guilty of war crimes or discriminating minorities. The minister added that the government's prime focus is to answer the problems of the nation through a democratic and constitutional process. Meanwhile, the LTTE diaspora conducted a protest campaign against the minister's speech made at the UN Human Rights Council. UK and other members of the UN Human Rights Group regarding Sri Lanka, namely Canada, Germany, Northern Macedonia and Montenegro, informed the UN Human Rights Council that they are regretting Sri Lanka's decision to withdraw from the co-sponsorship of the Resolution 30-1. Meanwhile, patriotic Sri Lankans living in Europe and Minister Dinesh Gunawardana held discussions on the measures that should be taken against the false propaganda spreading against Sri Lanka. Minister commended the collective moves taken by the patriotic Sri Lankans to safeguard the motherland and appealed them to work with the government to continue this endeavour. Secretary to the Ministry, Ravinatha Arya Singha, was also present at this discussion. President Gotabe Rajapaksha says that the relevant ministries should take the responsibilities for making room for those demonstrations. He made these remarks addressing the ceremony to present to governmental bodies which have achieved a high performance level in the year 2018 with awards. The president said as the staff of the presidential secretariat has to devote more time to these agitators than performing their duties, the relevant ministries should take the responsibility for making room for those demonstrations. He also emphasized that the government is committed to expedite as well as to expand the process of management review. On the recommendation of the Committee on Public Accounts, government bodies which have achieved a high performance level in the year 2018 were presented with awards at the parliamentary complex under the patronage of President Gotabe Rajapaksha. A weather and accident warning system has been implemented in Tangala Fishing Harbour under the patronage of Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksha. Fishing net owners in Kalamati area were also uh, compensated at this event. Kalamati Fishing Harbour was constructed in 2014 to resolute the absence of a port for the multi-day trawlers. 28 fishermen who incurred damages in the process were compensated by the Prime Minister at a cost of 140 million rupees. A system to forecast weather and accidents were also implemented. Still in news at home, the UNP Working Committee decided to make all nominations at the upcoming general election for the United National Party and the United People's Freedom Alliance with the approval of UNP leader Ranul Vikramasinghe and the Working Committee.
It has been agreed upon that 60% of the nominations should be from the UNP and 40% from the other parties. 45% of the nominations will have to be approved by the party leader. UNP leader Ranil Vikramasinghe presided the working committee meeting which was held at the Sirikotha party headquarters. The constitution of the new alliance was approved. However, the general secretary of the party, MP Akhil Viraj Karyawasan, said that the meeting was concluded without a decision on the symbol for the UNP-led alliance. Three students of the Mechanical Engineering Division of the Morito University have, involved in, have innovated a mobile diagnosis bed. This new bed is adjustable for any position for the convenience of both the patient and the doctors in checking up patients. Manuka Suryage, Buddhika Prabhat and Kavinda Prabhat have introduced this new innovation as the practical project for the final year. It is significant that this bed can also be transformed into a wheelchair and a trolley when the need arises. The bed has a mobile app to store technical data such as blood pressure and ECG readings of the patient. Sancharaka Odava 2020, the tourism promotion campaign organized by the Sri Lanka Association of Inbound Tour Operations for the 10th consecutive time will be held at BMICH on the 15th and 16th of May this year. A media briefing was held in Colombo in this connection. This promotion campaign may provide many opportunities to the small and medium scale entrepreneurs engaging in Sri Lanka's tourism industry. About 7,800 persons participated for the same event last year. The aim is to increase the number up to 10,000 this year. Chairman of the association, Mahin Kariwasam, and several top officials of the Sri Lanka tourism were present at this media briefing. And that is all the news for today. Do join us again tomorrow for the very latest. For the ITN News team, I'm Abrar Abid. Have a great day and take care.